Hey guys, I'm T, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. What you're looking at here is another fun weekend project perfect for beginners or advanced crocheters. Haven't done a high neck piece that wasn't a mock neck in a while, so I was happy with this one, and I love the fit. If you enjoy high neck pieces too, hit the thumbs up and join me in the comments so we can talk all about it. So without further ado, for this project, any category four yarn will work, but I used a quarter skein of Karen one pound in the color Azure. As for tools, a five millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCD DIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway using three stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain, slip stitch, single crochet, and half double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we are first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making a chain that goes from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of this top to be. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 24 and that's 5 inches or 12 centimeters. And now that we have our chain, we are going to start off by doing a half double crochet. So we're going to start this by doing a chain up of two. This counts as a half double. Next, we're going to prepare for a half double and then into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook, we're going to go in with a half double crochet. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Let's do the next one together. Prepare for a half double, go into that next chain, yarn over, pull through, and pull through three. And we're going to keep doing this going all the way down and I'll meet you guys back when we have just one chain left. And now that we are back and we have just one chain left, we're gonna be going in with an increase of two half double crochet into that last chain. So let's get this started together. We're going to start off by putting one half double into that chain and then the increase comes in where we put one more half double into that same chain. And that is our increase of two half double crochets. And we do need to increase into our slip stitch row as well. So we're going to start this row off by doing a chain out of two. From here, we're going to flip our work. And to do the increase into this row, we're going to be slip stitching into the second chain from our hook. So we're going to skip this first one, insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. Let's do the next back loop slip stitch together, into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. Go ahead and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way all the way down. And now that we have made our way down with our back loop slip stitch row, we're going to be going in with a row of back loop half double crochets. So let's get that started off together. So how this is going to work is by starting off by doing a chain up of two. This counts as a half double. From here, we're going to flip our work, prepare for a half double, and then into that first back loop, insert with a regular half double. And we are going to keep doing this going all the way down and we are going to maintain the increases along the other side. And we're going to do these rows until it goes from mid underarm to the front of our body and also making sure that it reaches right at the base of our neck. And then when we meet each other back, we want to make sure that we're meeting each other back along the top so that we can just go straight across for our body portion. And then lastly, we wanna make sure that we are stretching it as if we were wearing it when we're putting it up to ourselves. So go ahead and get those rows started and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with our underarm portion and I ended up having a total of 13 rows. 
or the width comes out to about four and a half inches or 11 centimeters and that is unstretched. And we are at the base of our neck where this points at. And then from here, we're just going to do rows of back loop slip stitches and back loop half double crochets just going straight across. So no increases and no decreases. So I'm gonna get that piece going and then I'll meet you guys back once when I have that all finished up. And then we do wanna make sure that we are meeting along the bottom. So right when we're finished with a back loop slip stitch row so that we can go in with our half double crochet row and then do our decrease together. So go ahead and get that done and then I'll meet you guys back. And now that we are back, we have just finished up going in with our body portion where we didn't do any increases or decreases. And I now have a total of 24 rows and my width is now eight inches or 20 centimeters and that is unstretched. And what we're gonna do from here is now work our way up with our back loop half double crochet. We're going to leave the last two stitches we have into the top and then we'll do our decreases together. So we should have all ended down here. Go ahead and do your chain out of two and then put one back loop half double crochet all the way down and I'll meet you back once we have just two stitches left. So we've just made our way all the way down with our back loop half double crochets and now we're going to do our decrease of two back loop half double crochets into our last two stitches. So prepare for a half double crochet, insert our hook into the second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through, and also into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. When we have those four, we're going to yarn over and then pull through all four of those loops. And that is our decrease when it comes to our half double crochet row. And so that this side matches the other side, we're going to be doing a decrease into every single row that we have. So let's do a decrease of two back loop slip stitches together. What we're going to do is do a chain up of one and flip our work. From here, we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop that we have, yarn over, pull through. Next, insert our hook into that next back loop. And once when our hook is through here, we're going to yarn over and automatically pull through these three loops that's on our hook. So yarn over and pull through one, two, and three loops. And then go ahead and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, just like before. And then when we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, do back loop half double crochets all the way down while maintaining the decrease into the last two stitches into that row. Do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then do your decrease of back loop slip stitches that we just did together, working our way down. And we will keep working back and forth like that until we have the same amount of rows as our increased side. And I'll meet you guys back when we have that side all finished up. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with our other underarm portion where we did our decreases into every row. And I ended up having a total of 37 rows and that's 12 and a half inches or 32 centimeters unstretched. And then once when we have that, we are going to make the same exact piece one more time. So copy everything that we just did, and then I'll meet you guys back. So I am back, and I have just finished up going in with both of my panels, and they are exactly the same. So the next thing we are going to do is seam up the sides together. The only tip that I have for you guys before we get started is make sure that our ribbing is facing each other so that once we have our seam on the side and we flip it right side out the seams will be along the inside so as you guys can see there's ribbing up top here ribbing here all we're going to do is just place one on top of the other so now we're looking at the back and then we can get started on the seam so we're going to be inserting our hook into the first available corner stitch into the front panel and then also into the next available corner stitch into the back panel. From here, we're going to take our yarn, yarn over and pull through everything that's on our hook. And then we're going to do a chain up of one. From here, we're going to single crochet going in through the loop in the front panel and also going in through the loop in the back panel at the same time. So into the next available stitch into the front panel insert your hook, 
Next available stitch into the back panel, insert your hook, and single crochet. Let's do the next one together just one more time. Into that next stitch into the front panel, next stitch into the back panel, and then single crochet. We're going to keep doing this until we don't have any more loops left. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we just did here on the other side. So we have just finished up seaming both of our sides and we have flipped our work right side out. What we're going to do next is just go along the top portion, putting two single crochet into each side half double crochet. So let's get that started. We are first going to insert our hook into this first side slip stitch row because this is where our body portion starts. I have stitch markers in there so I'm going to take mine out. And then we're going to find the top loop that we have. It's not going to be an easy or a pretty loop, but we're going to insert our hook into there anyways. Insert our yarn and pull through. From here, we're going to do a chain up of one, and then we're going to do our first set of two single crochets together. Into this first side half double crochet, we're going to insert our hook with one single crochet and then also with one more single crochet into that same side half double. We are going to skip this next side slip stitch and then put two singles into this next side half double. So into the next one, there is one. Into the same one, there is two. And keep doing this all the way down until you don't have any more of your body portion rows to go into. Slip stitch into our side slip stitch row do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing on the other side. Now that we have our single crochet row finished up along the top of both of our panels, we are next going to try this on. And when we have this on, we are going to measure from this corner going up and over our shoulder to this back corner that we have right here, and then whatever measurement we have, we're going to make a chain of that. So I actually need to make a chain of 22 or that's five and a half inches or 14 centimeters. Before we can do that though, we're going to work our way up with a single crochet row. So taking a look at the armhole that we've created for ourselves, we're going to find the last row from our front panel and the last row from our back panel. From there, we're going to trace that seam up and we're gonna insert our hook into that top loop. It's not gonna be a pretty loop or an easy one to find, but we're just gonna have to insert our hook into one of the loops that we have in between those two rows. Once we have that, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, and just like how we did before, we're going to go in with two single crochets into each side half double crochet row until we hit this corner. So let's just do the first one together. We are going to pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And just to go into the first row together, into this first side half double crochet row, we're going to insert our hook into that loop with one single crochet. And into that same side half double crochet row with another single crochet. And keep repeating this going all the way up until we hit this corner. Now that we've single crocheted all the way up to this corner, we are now going to make our chain. So like I said, I'm gonna start off by making a chain of 22. And now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is single crochet it into the back. So we're gonna flip our work over, and then into this last stitch that we have into the single crochet row that we did across, we're going to single crochet it into here. And we're doing that just so that it looks a lot cleaner when we finish up this row. So we're just gonna insert it into this corner stitch find our working yarn and then we're gonna single crochet and then from here just like before work your way down putting two single crochets into each side half double crochet when we don't have any more stitches left to go into slip stitch into that last chain and then do a chain up of one and cut and do the same thing that we did here along the other side so we've just finished up going in with our straps along both sides and we are nearly done one of the last things that we have to do is clean up the bottom. So how we're going to start this off is by going in with a single crochet row along the bottom. 
putting two single crochets into each side half double crochet just like the top border that we've done. So go ahead and insert your hook into any one of these side rows. I do like to insert my hook where the seam is just to keep it clean. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And then just like before, go ahead and put two single crochets into each side half double crochet. And I will meet you guys back once when we have slip stitched into that chain up of one space that we just made for ourselves. Now that we've made our way all the way around with our single crochet row, we have just one more row to do for the bottom. That is going to be a row of front post single crochets. So let's get that started off together. What we're going to do is start off by doing a chain up of one. So how front post single crochet works is that we're actually going to go around the body of the single crochet instead of just going in through the top loops. So let's do the first few together. This is the body of the single crochet and what we're going to do is insert our hook into that next loop and we're actually going to bring our hook through the other loop that we have on the other side of the body of our single crochet. And then from here, we're going to single crochet just like normal. Let's do the next one together. We're gonna to insert our hook into that next loop that we have and then bring it through the next available loop, making sure that the body of our single crochet is on top of our hook and then single crochet just like normal. Let's do one more for good measure. We're gonna insert our hook into that next loop, bring it through the other side of our single crochet, and then single crochet on top of that. And that is it. Go ahead and keep doing this, going all the way around. When we don't have any more stitches left, go ahead and slip stitch into that last stitch that we have, do a chain up of one and cut. Alrighty, so we have just finished up going in with our last row, which was our front post single crochet row along the bottom, and we are actually all finished up. The last thing that we're going to have to do is weave in all of our ends. Our ends are woven in and our quick and easy top is all finished. I'm really happy with the details of this top from the thin strap to the ribbing to the high neck, and if you are too, be sure to let us know in the comments. There's a written pattern down below, use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by asking a question for our FAQ. I'm almost caught up, so I should be shooting that soon, fingers crossed. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, because believe it or not, it really, really helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook, links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.